Good morning. You may remember some time ago I replaced all the doors in this house with these beautiful solid oak 1930s 1 over 3 panel doors. But there were two doors that we couldn't do at the time because they don't sell them ready-made in the sizes that we need. Let me show you. One is the understairs door which is exactly two foot wide. Normal standard internal door size is two foot six. And the second one, well, it's fairly obvious. Nobody makes a door that looks like that. So, what do we do? We ordered from uh, UK Oak Doors, very nice and helpful people. Just go outside. Two kit form doors, which were a special order from China. Uh, they were shipped over specially for us. Uh, the two foot three, so the smallest width that we can get. And they are fully assembled but not glued, as you can see. So, what I'm going to do today and tomorrow and however long it takes is to take, well, this door and cut down all the bits, in well, all the panels individually uh, so that I can make a smaller door. So I've got to lose three inches off this. Um, and what I do not want to do is to cut down the rails because taking an inch and a half off the side rails is going to compromise the strength of the door. Um, for the understairs cupboard door, um, <coughs> we're into wood butchery. Um, that's going to be interesting. Um, more about that as we go on. But for today, um, I'm stripping this down, just knocking it down, and then we will chop bits down, make it smaller, and make it work as a uh, much smaller door. So, show you more as we're going along. Right, two minutes later, and I've knocked this kit form door down. And we have the legs here, or styles, and uh, they push into the edges, and all the rest of it is pretty straightforward, as you can see. Head rail, top panel, middle rail, bottom panels and rails and the bottom of the door and when they say it's solid oak do you believe them you better had to this really is it's absolutely rock solid not one piece not just one piece it's not veneered either um, if you look here this is the head rail that's the face that's the reverse instead of thin veneer you've got well, there's my, th no, sorry, grubby thumb. We've got a clean finger, let's use that finger. Finger, <coughs> finger for scale, that's about seven mil thick. Um, so that's really good. And then these panels are a single piece, la uh, single, yeah, single piece planks edge jointed together. And I'm just gonna have to be careful because it uh, it wants to bow slightly and then all the rest of it and the construction wow it makes my job so much easier because there's nothing really nasty here that's going to cause me a problem so i can make everything smaller all i have to do is re-drill two dowel holes and um, and that's it i can uh, do pretty much whatever i want with it so it shouldn't take too long should it no, it's going to take a lot of care <laughs> and a lot of drawing and just making sure that I get everything absolutely spot on. So, um, so here we go. Okay, after a lot of measuring, I have a plan. Um, the original door is 687 wide. I need it to be 612, so I've got to take 75 off. I'm going to take 25 mil off each door leg and that will make them the same width as the middle rails. Uh, middle rails, so I just position that on there, line that up, and you can see that becomes the same width. I'm gonna take eight mil off each of the panels, including the big one at the top, and that'll give me 24, probably just take a little bit more off the middle one. Uh, and then the bottom, middle and top rails, these, um, I need to take 25 mil off the width. Well, that sounds easy. Yes, it does. 
apart from the fact that it's uh, molded. So uh, a bit of, uh, gonna have to be a bit clever with that. I've got some router bits that'll pretty much do that. And um, I can do the rest by uh, hand carving. And then it's just a simple case of reassembling. Oh, how difficult could that be? Anyway, um, so that's that. Let's go make some dust. Right, after lots of measuring and remeasuring and then measuring again, um, cut, the, uh, cut the internal panels down to the size that we want, just to make them smaller and uh, not touching the middle rails, uh, but the outer rails will be the same, so that will balance it up when I get there. That one's been cut down. We're now about to start trimming the bottoms. Um, and that's going to be interesting because I'm going to have to kind of make it up as I go along. So let's get on. End of day, we have a door. It's gluing nicely. Um, the side styles took some bashing to get them to engage properly with the uh, sort of rectangular dowels that are on, to, well, floating tenons that are in each of the main joints. Um, there was a lot of lot of whacking because uh, I imagine in the factory they've got something like a 20 ton press um, squeezing it all together. I don't, I have three sash clamps and the hammer of Thor wherever it is, big wooden mallet. Uh, but it went in with a bit of creaking and groaning and reluctance. Um, these panels by the way uh, float loose um, so, so that's fine. Um, technically once I get some um, Osmo on this, it'll all uh, it'll all tighten up. Um, so tomorrow or or the next session, I'm going to be trimming the sides down uh, to the correct width and the head and the bottom rail to uh, give me the height of the door that we want. But uh, proportionately, um, yeah, it's all worked out nicely. This is the easy one. The hard one comes next. Anyway. That's another story. Catch you next time.